Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Well, all that snow is melting. Yep. And it is muddy mucky out. Oh, and our white dog <laughs> is no longer white. Well, just his feet. And his underbelly is a little muddy. What's going on? What's going on? Thank goodness for a big tub sink. <laughs> ah, yeah, we're realizing our next house, we like this rather than the two sink I thing. really like this. And it's sink. really deep. Look at it. I can give the dog a bath in this yep. and not have to bend over. <laughs> Good boy, it's okay. Chelsea, will you get him a treat? Thanks. <laughs> I just need to give the paws a little rinsey rinse. Ed. There's a little, oh no. Ed. Oh, the whole Ed. side of him. Is I guess he doesn't like that way. He wants to Hi. face that way. Because he can see his escape route that way. <laughs> I didn't get the one paw, but don't jump out. Sorry, I that I took a while. I'm trying to find it's like, this is like what they would do at the groomers, I think. Here, focus on the treat. There you go. Oh, that guy is full side. There you go. <laughs> He's like, what the heck? What did you do to me? We are off roading it. <laughs> We're still on a road. Technically, it's, just it's dirt. a road. It's just a dirt road. So, we are going to cut down our own Christmas tree. We are going to go to a Christmas tree farm. They're good. We have to ride on a wagon, Michael said, or, yeah. or something. And we're gonna go cut down our own tree. Like, legitimately, each one of us is going to work at cutting down the street. You're darn too, I'm not doing the whole thing myself. <laughs> I told Michael, I'm like, this is definitely not like what they show in the Hallmark movies. <laughs> you expect, oh, it's gonna be so beautiful and you're gonna wander around and hold hands and no, smile. No, you gotta put on 20 layers drink, of clothing. It's drink windy cocoa. as heck, it is cold. It you're is, you're gonna get dirty and muddy. Michael's like, put on layers of clothes and make sure whatever you wear, if it gets destroyed, that it's not a big deal. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanted to wear like a pretty red sweater and you know, like look all cute and stuff. Never really no. get to wear that in Michigan here. He's like, that's not, <gasps> they have a hot pink Jeep. Oh my gosh. So I'm like, okay, I'm trying to like layer up child. And then we're trying to get, get ready. It was just like anything that could go wrong <laughs> has gone wrong. So as soon as we hit the road, I'm like, forget that everything that happened this morning happened and let's just and try to enjoy ourselves. Wow. We'll take that. That looks like, wow. Okay, That's being good. out in the country, I'm finding all these amazing homes with all this land. That looks like agility or something. It's amazing. I'm finding all these houses. I saw a log cabin. I'm like, I'll take that. <laughs> I'm finding acreage for sale. Anyway, we are going to go cut down our own Christmas tree. Here we I'm go. You, you're, going, you're going. This is it is off roading. Deal. It is off roading. Like the, the entrance was like straight down. <laughs> Thank goodness for four wheel drive. Whoa, those are all. Oh, so they do have pre cut over yep. here, but we're gonna go looking oh they have wreaths my goodness sorry it's bumpy and look at the little bitty ones i'm gonna feel bad like walking oh, yeah. past them all <laughs> I think they're little ball. Those are they're, bi there, but... they're bigger when you get up to them all right so we kind of oh, lucked out they're, they're like marked. they're nice. like during if you have a little one with you he's like do you have a little one i said yeah i was kind of nervous and he's like okay we let you drive to the trees if you have a little one so they don't have to like walk oh, so much during the week too though oh and during the week thank goodness so anyway um you go this way for the fraser firs and you go the other way for the can cannon is that can what they're canaan 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 oh there's some people right there cutting their tree down oh cute so anyway we are we are driving and he's like not eight, nine, ten footers, you know. He's like, there might be some up there, but everybody wants the ten foot ones. Oh, Daddy. Well, Chelsea and I got bundled up. Daddy went a looking. Well, I see stuff way out there that looks big. Have to probably drive a little. Got to drive around and find that perfect tree, Clark. Look at Daddy's truck. He's saying he's gonna need a good washing after this. I said they would make a ton of money if they offered that service as you're leaving. Got my saw, but we're still looking. <laughs> We've been driving around a lot. 
All right, so here's the deal. <laughs> Michael wants a 10, nine, 10 foot tree. And there just really aren't any, like they pre-cut them and especially the big ones because that's what everybody wants. So we think we're gonna just end up buying one of the pre-cut trees. And I said to Michael, I came here to cut down a tree. I'm gonna cut down a tree. <laughs> so I wanna get to it's use 30 seconds into cutting the tree down and saying, let's go get one of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he wants his 10 foot tree. I wanna cut one down. So we're gonna go look at the 10 foot ones that are already cut. And then we're gonna see if maybe they'll let us cut like a baby tree down just so that I get the experience. Um, but they're all babies that are meant to grow into bigger trees. So we don't know, I don't know, if they'll even let us cut down anything that's that small. So we're gonna go find some things out and I might just have to give up on this idea until maybe another year. Well, that's what we're talking about. Oh my goodness. They're hanging. So they're straight up. So you can really get a good look at them. Measuring as far as the tape measure goes, just about. I want to get as big as we can because this is the tallest ceiling we've ever had. Yeah. Here goes our tree. Getting bailed. Oh man, it's big. Here comes Daddy. All right, guys. It's in the love. Wow, it looks really big here because it's laying down. So we got it in the house. Whew, I was saying how heavy it is. Michael's like, nah, it's not that bad. No, I, I don't think this, I think this is as big as the ones we've been getting in Florida. Well, I kind of feel like maybe it just seems like it's heavy because we've been lifting so much the last couple days and working like every day, all day since the pod got here. It's been moving boxes, moving stuff, moving furniture, moving, unpacking and putting stuff away. Like I was on my feet all day yesterday uh, and I still have so much to do. So anyway, I just feel like my body's like, okay, woman, calm it down a little, take a break. <laughs> so we're going to get this thing up. We'll let it fluff and we'll let it oh, settle. We're not, we're not decorating today. Yeah, we're not decorating today. So our tradition has always been to decorate the day after Thanksgiving. That's actually when we usually go and get our tree, but we're so glad we went today because first thing this morning, Michael said to me, it's supposed to be rainy. What'd you say? Rainy and windy? Uh, tomorrow's a mix. So slushy, snowy, rain. And then the next day is supposed to be rain. So, so we did not want to have to be out trying to find a tree in that kind of weather. And some people must've had the same idea because there were other families that were there Plus it would, it's just going to get so busy. Like everybody's going to go to get their trees. We did end up getting a pre-cut tree because Michael wanted a big tree and all the ones that you cut down were pretty small. And I just kind of decided all in the future, go cut down a small tree to have in like a dining room or extra room or something like that. So we skipped cutting down for this year, but we will do it in the future. <laughs> And we will decorate this on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. All right, Michael's like, I could have got a bigger one. <laughs> yeah, so it's not, I mean, that's gonna get trimmed down some, so yeah, could have got maybe yeah, a foot bigger. You trim it down a little bit, but the bottom, the lowest branch on the bottom is as tall as me. And I was like, oh my gosh. You guys. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> you just watch it like grow and grow. I always think of Christmas vacation when it goes whoosh. <laughs> they did shake it. They had a shaker machine that they put it on and shook all the needles out. Well, not as, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it's okay, Charles. I think after today, we all need some cookies. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Poor daddy has been working so hard to get the tree all spruced up for us. We, we are going to make some cookies. So the story behind the cookies is we got these because mommy is not a fan of pumpkin pie. Grandpa might not be a fan of pumpkin pie. So we picked up two of these for Thanksgiving as a treat for those of us who don't like pumpkin pie. 
but we bought two packs. So we're gonna cook up one today and then we'll do the other one for Thanksgiving. All right, you guys, it is, we just finished eating our cookies. It's end of day. Michael just put the, uh, what's that called? A collar on the tree. Yeah. And he's been fluffing at it for a while. It's looking really good. Really pretty. He finally sat down for a little break. <laughs> he's done. Had his cookies and he's done. And um, also cleared out the rest of the boxes that were in the kitchen. So cleaned up the kitchen, baked cookies. Um, Michael and I both worked to get this cleaned out. I vacuumed everything so everything's nice and cleaned and vacuumed. It does smell so good. Put my bench back. So yeah, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> I still have, so we still have to figure out what to do with all of our wall hangings and pictures, where to hang things, or if we just wanna put them away and not hang them. But yeah, look at what mommy found, the peppermint. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. I still have oodles. <laughs> I still have oodles of work to do in mainly just the game room. Uh, a little bit of things here and there that need to be done. And you know, like I said, in a couple days we'll be decorating for Christmas, so. Oh, look at Chelsea Peppermint. Aren't you so cute? We should call you Pepper.